Americans yearn to explore life's deepest truths and to say their entertainment, or their idea of entertainment is sex and violence and crime, is an insult to their goodness and intelligence. We are people who believe love can triumph over hate, creativity over destruction, and hope over despair. And that's why so many millions hunger for God's good news. I've always believed that we were, each of us put here for a reason, that there, there is a plan, somehow a divine plan for all of us. I know now that whatever days are left to me belong to him. I also believe this blessed land was set apart in a very special way. Our forebears came not for gold, but mainly in search of God and the freedom to worship in their own way. We've been a free people living under the law with faith in our maker and in our future. I've said before that the most sublime picture in American history is of George Washington on his knees in the snow at Valley Forge. That image personifies a people who know that it's not enough to depend on our own courage and goodness. We must also seek help from God, our Father and Preserver. We'll never find every answer, solve every problem, or heal every wound, but we can do a lot if we walk together down that one path that we know provides real hope. The morality and values such faith implies are deeply embedded in our national character. Our country embraces those principles by design and we abandon them at our peril. My experience in this office I hold has only deepened a belief I've held for many years. Within the covers of that single book are all the answers to all the problems that face us today if we'd only read and believe.